Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Star Wars Dark Side event figure preview video. Before we begin, I want to say a massive thank you to Ryan Kirkwood for going out in person and snapping these gorgeous high-res pictures. Show Ryan some love in the comments section because without him, this series literally would not be possible. If you are looking to grab Captain Rex, he is available on pre-order with Pop Collectibles. As always, do your own research, make sure you're comfortable before buying. I have included a link to their site in the description below, along with the discount code Justin's Collection for 5% off your order if you do decide to buy from them. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button so you're notified as soon as a brand new Hot Toys Star Wars Dark Side event figure preview video goes live on the channel. Now the reason why we're a bit later with Captain Rex, because he was announced a while ago at this point, is because for some weird reason Hot Toys decided not to put this guy up on display at Secret Base when he was actually announced. So luckily he's now on display at the Dark Side event and we can do a pickup, if you will, on this figure preview video. Okay, so in the Ahsoka series we finally got to see Captain Rex in live action. And not just in one phase of armor, we got to see phase one and phase two. A lot of people were super excited for like a second, and then the reality of some poor costuming and costume fitting started to kick in because whoever was on set and placing the armor pieces on the actor who was playing Captain Rex did a pretty shit job and the same thing can be said for the poster for the Ahsoka series featuring Captain Rex. The elbow pads were completely inaccurately placed, they were flipped around and they looked terrible. They also made some other strange costume choices and we'll get to those in just a second. So in figure format, you get some interchangeable gauntlets, interchangeable shin guards, an interchangeable chest plate, and a phase 2 helmet. So we are getting both phases of Captain Rex in the one package. Which I love to see, because Hot Toys could have very easily sold us two different versions of Captain Rex, therefore they would have made more money. So I like that you just have to pick up one, you can interchange the pieces, and you can have him displayed as Phase 1 or Phase 2. Or ideally, you might just want to pick up two of them, then you can have him displayed in both looks all the time in the collection. So I'm not sure if this helmet is a different mould compared to the previously released Captain Rex. It looks similar enough to me personally. The weld lines are present, they're actually... 3D sculpted raised things, they're not just painted on, but now that I'm actually looking at it closer, the lines along the side, the bottom of the helmet, do look like they're sculpted. So this may very well be at least a partially new Captain Rex helmet sculpt, and the rangefinder will be able to articulate down just like we saw with the 1.0, or the animated style one. So with this guy we are missing out on the unhelmeted Tamura Morrison head sculpt, and we don't get the jetpack. So there are a couple of exclusive accessories that do come with the Clone Wars one. Thank goodness they have finally ditched the footprints on the stupid sand footprint diorama display bases. Yes, you are going to have to do a bit more work with him to get him standing on the base because the surface is a little bit lumpy, but now at least you can have his feet anywhere on the display base. You don't have to have them in the predetermined footprint positions. And the footprints aren't going to be the wrong shape and size for the character anymore, like we saw with uh, IG-11, for example. Still a head scratcher for me. Some people are going to like this new armor sculpt, but a lot of people aren't. I happen to dig it. I reviewed the 501st live-action Kenobi series clone, and I thought it was a big step forward for proportions, realism, and articulation. Not to mention the gloss, which to me screamed old-school Imperial Stormtrooper armor, so that got a tick in my book. Then again, folks didn't like that, and I understand we all have personal preferences. 
if this isn't the Captain Rex for you, the original is still out there, so maybe just stick with that one. Like I alluded to earlier, one of the other strange choices on this Captain Rex design were the holsters. Why are they so big? The DC-17 blaster pistols are not that big, so they will just be floating around in those holsters. I'm hoping that there's some kind of, like, slot mechanism grabber thing that will hold onto the pistols so that they don't just fall all the way down into those holsters. We'll just have to wait and see when this guy releases. One of the other big changes that I am so here for with this version of Rex is they got rid of the weird green tint on the armour. Some people said that was accurate to certain episodes of the Clone Wars and that's cool, it just wasn't my vibe. I think the green and the yellow tint clashed with the blue and the white didn't look as stark and it didn't pop as much as I was hoping it was going to. With this guy, no green tint, it's more of a matte finish compared to the 501st clones, but the blue pops, the yellow stripes on the helmet are present, and it's using that new body, plus the new armour mould, so articulation is going to be way better than the original one. Oh, when I see you, Hot Toys, turning that bicep guard around the right way so the blue stripe is on the outside and rotating that elbow pad so it's now sitting in the correct position, this just goes to show you that you can just completely disregard the placement of those elbow pads in the show and in the character poster for Captain Rex. In 1-6 scale, adjust them and have them sitting in the correct positions. So if you're wondering how their hands are going to work, because some of them have the tally marks on them for Phase 2 and then others don't, just don't worry about it. Hot Toys have included duplicates of the important hands. So you have Phase 1 trigger finger hands and Phase 2 versions. So we're not missing out on any gestures for either of the two phases. And the DC-17 blaster pistols are looking a lot more detailed than the previous ones that we received with all of the other clones that have come with the DC-17 blaster pistols. There's more surface detail, there's more texture, and there's some silver dry brushing. Now we get to the Phase 1 helmet. This, for me, is just very interesting, because the bottom flares out almost exactly like what we saw in the Clone Wars animation. This doesn't scream Episode 2 Phase 1 Clone Trooper. I mean, it's all there, we've got the very thin lines for the mouth and the T-shaped visor and the rangefinder and the fin, yet it's the way it flares out that gets me. That's not to say I don't like it, this is a beautiful looking Phase 1 helmet, and it looks like they shrunk it down finally so it fits in proportion with the body. It also has a big gap underneath the bottom of it so there's no gasket that sits around the neck. For articulation, this is a live action suit translated to 1-6 scale. It was designed so stunt performers could move in it, so you know for damn sure that this guy is going to be able to pose. Oh, and we do get two different versions of the pauldron, for those who were wondering. I am curious to see which way most people are going to display their Rex. I'm going to keep the Clone Wars TV show one as Phase 2, maybe swap out a couple of armour pieces with this guy, whereas for this release I'm going to display him as Phase 1. Because I reckon Phase 1 Captain Rex is goated. I cannot believe it took them this long to finally give us this look in 1-6 scale. And live action, shame on you Disney. Now if you are looking to grab this guy, he is available on pre-order with Pop Collectibles. As always, do your own research, make sure you're comfortable before buying. I have popped a link to their site in the description below, along with the discount code Justin's Collection for 5% off your order if you do decide to buy from them. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button, if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment and subscribe, we'll catch you in the next video.